Hello, I'm Mal, and welcome to Darkest Dungeon Overview of the Man-at-Arms class. So, part of the uh, Fiends and Frenzy update on May 28th of 2015, which is the day I'm releasing this video, two new classes were added to the game. One was the Arbalist, which is the heavy crossbow person, and the other is the Man-at-Arms, which I'm going to go over in this video. Now, I will put links over here, right about oh, this area here over to the left, one will be a link to the uh, Arbalist overview if you want to watch that at some point. Uh, and I'll also put a link to the update video, which goes over the various changes. I will speak to some of those as I'm playing through this, but this is really going to focus on the Man at Arms class specifically. So let's take a look at Fitzroy. Now, first thing I've noticed about the Man at Arms is while certainly set up as a capable frontline combatant, a lot of these skills are really more of sort of a, a make other people better or a, you know, commander type of role. So if you take a look at the skills, and I'll just go through them one by one, you have Crush. All right, that's pretty standard attack. You, from the first two ranks, you can attack into their first three. Then you've got Rampart. So this is a stun and a knockback, which is pretty useful. I th actually, I think it's very useful. Then you've got Bellow. Now, this is from the first three ranks. It has a base accuracy of 80. It's it's minus 90% damage, but it'll strike all, all targets on the other side. And then a debuff of minus five uh, dodge and minus five speed. Now, you compare that against, say, the Hellions. Breakthrough. Um, now, Breakthrough does more damage, um, but in terms of usability, I don't know, this is kind of interesting. It doesn't do much damage, but I don't know, with the debuff? And it hits all ranks? Eh, it could be could be useful. Um, we'll see. Uh, Defender, plus 20% protection. Okay, now I don't know exactly what the numbers are behind it. Um, and like everyone else, I've just got my hands on the new build a few hours ago. But protection stat, which was already good, um, is now like unbelievably good. So uh, at least that's been my experience so far. And I've played through some level seven um, champion dungeons. I've played through a couple of veteran dungeons and I've played some standard, you know, starter beginner dungeons. And it seems to scale all the way across. So um, the fact that you have plus 20 percent protection, which is nice. Then it has this uh, guard ally. Um, so you buff yourself and then I guess choose someone else. And that gives them some kind of ancillary buff for protection. I don't know. Again, this video is going to be about exploring these things. Retribution. Now this looks very interesting. So it's a little less damage, but you pick up 10% protection. You mark a target and then activates repost. Now, if that functions the way I think it's going to, we'll get the buff mark a target, and then if something attacks us, we'll get a return attack. I believe that's the way that's going to work. And the Man-at-Arms um, and the Arbalist look like they would work. The, the, the synergies between the two classes look like they would be quite, quite good. You know, um, instead of having to uh, bring a Bounty Hunter or a Occultist to do Mark, uh, for the Arbalist, who has a sniper shot that can take advantage of a mark, then the Man-at-Arms could do that uh, for her. Uh, I, I, matter of fact, I'm going to take um, an Arbalist with us on this run, even though the Arbalist is not going to be the focus. Focus will be on the Man-at-Arms, just to see the synergy. Okay, now, stop talking. Let me look at this. Okay, now, <laughs> Command, plus five accuracy. Okay, so a straight buff. And then Bolster. Plus five dodge, plus two speed. And this is what I'm talking about. This is not just a damage dealing class. This is really more of kind of a, a leadership class, in, in my opinion, and brings a lot of utility, uh, which I think is super cool. Now, if we look at the camping skills, we've got your standard, uh, you know, encourage, uh, wound care, pep talk. But then we get into the man at arms specific ones. So first one being maintain equipment plus 12 dodge. OK, so you could build with the rate trinkets and whatnot. You could build the man at arms as sort of a dodge tank instead of a protection tank if you wanted to. Tactics plus 10 dodge plus 10 dodge for all companions. That's 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 pretty significant. Instruction. One companion gets plus 10 accuracy, plus 20 percent damage and plus three crit. What? That's that's in, that's an insane buff. 
And then weapons practice, plus 10 accuracy, plus 20% damage, plus 3 crit. I mean, that's just, there's some super good buffs on the man in arms. So I'm very, 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 very interested in that. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'll make a quick cut in the video. We'll come back in a dungeon uh, of the appropriate level, you know, a starter dungeon. And then we're going to go through. And what I'm going to do is we're going to go through a series of fights. I'll make quite a few cuts in the video to just focus really on the combat. And then we'll test out different abilities in different combat sequences. All right, so I'll be right back with you. Okay, so here we find ourselves in a medium dungeon uh, in the ruins. And uh, you can see that the Mana Arms is in the front position with no trinkets. The rest of the group does have trinkets on them. Um, but again, just like in my video I did for the Arbalist, I, I want to see what they're just just by default how the class um, how the class performs. So I didn't want to uh, modify that with with any trinkets, and obviously I certainly could have. Um, so we're gonna go through this. I'm going to take us partway through the dungeon. Um, and I don't really care how much stress and whatnot that, that we get, um, but I'm going to take us through partway and do some fights without buffs. Then we're going to camp. We're going to pick up some additional buffs and then we're going to continue in. And again, I'm going to make several cuts throughout the video to basically focus only on, on combat. Okay. So let's get started. Been low on supplies. All right. Our first fight. Uh, let's see. What, what do you got here? Didn't even know what this character had. <laughs> okay. Um, Dazzling Light, I guess. Nope. Missed. All right. Now, let's see. So we've got Crush, our standard attack. Rampart, which is a knockback plus stun. Uh, Bellow. Let's try that. All right, <laughs> that's a little underwhelming. Enemy crumbles. All right, let's try that. Let's try Bellow again. Okay, and they get debuffed. Minus five dodge, minus five speed. That's pretty cool. And let's take a sniper shot here. Okay, now let's try this. 20% protection for yourself, and then I, you select an ally. Okay, well, let's guard her since she's hurt. Guarded by Fitzroy. Okay. Interesting. We'll see how that functions. Is he going to like intercept an attack for her? I wonder if that's how the mechanic the is. Falls. Well, let's just attack. Press there we go. Give them no quarter. Well struck. That was Bolo. If you haven't seen it before, it'll swap the two front ranks. Uh, and do damage to both ranks, which is pretty cool. Okay, let's see. We've tested all these out. Yeah, well, except for Rampart. A devastating blow. Well, that was nice. Okay, and now let's change some of these abilities. So we've checked out Bellow. Let's check out Retribution. We've checked out Rampart. Let's check out Command Straightforward. I don't need to check that out, or Bolster for that matter. Yeah, these are flat bonuses, so we need to check out Retribution. Yep. Okay, so I'll make a cut in the video, come back to you in the next fight. All right, we didn't get very far down the hall before we got jumped by a brigand, so <laughs> here's the next fight. Let's see. Well, I, I really want to see what uh, Retribution does. So again, I think Activates Repost to me tells me that in addition to the plus 10 protection and marking a target, if that target then attacks him, we'll get a counter. So let's see. Let's go with this one. Oh, no, it's any target. Oh, that's cool. Anything that hits him, he does a return attack. Wow, that's super cool. Um, let's see. But he's marked, attracts enemies, and takes more damage from some attacks. Oh, he marks himself. I see. Well, I guess that makes sense then, right? Because it's essentially like a taunt. Um, and he wants to draw the fire. That actually makes perfect sense. Okay, well, but we can also remove the mark. Yeah, with Rallying Flare, if you've never seen it. 
or not. Oh, I guess if it's a self buff or debuff, you can't remove it. Okay. Learning stuff as we go. <laughs> okay, let's see. Heal yourself. Yep. So he gets... Does he not get an active then? Does it just stay? Uh, we'll have to see. Okay, goodbye to you. Yeah, it just stays active. That's really cool. Huh. Let's see if we can't finish off one of these guys. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, well, what what happened to what happened to retribution? <laughs> I guess it's done. All right, then let's um rampart. Nope. Okay, As let's grab Victor that. Mount, so too will resistance. Uh, here. Need a little bit. Eat a little bit. Okay, so we've done... I like Retribution. That's pretty cool. And... Bellow, eh, I can take or leave. I think this setup is the best. So far, anyway. Crush, Rampart, Defender, and Retribution. Retribution is a really cool mechanic. I like that. Okay, well. We'll keep going, then. I'll be back with you in a second. Alright, now this should prove to be an interesting fight. They're brigands, so it's a little bit of a tougher fight. Uh, and uh, we were surprised, and we're now in complete darkness. So one of the things that changed in the patch is that um, beyond getting surprised more often, um, you take a lot more stress. My experience so far is you take a significantly more stress when it's in pitch black. So we'll see how we fare. Really? Yeah, look at that. It took like 32 crit or 32 stress from a crit. That's pretty... It's pretty... Pretty steep. Okay, so... Um... 20% protection and guard an ally. Yeah, let's do that. And let's guard... The Vestal. Sniper's mark. Yeah, let's mark that guy. Start work on this one. Snag a heal. Stack bleeds on this guy. Oh, do you guys see that? They went to get the Vestal and he took it onto the guard. That's cool. That's really cool. All right, sniper shot. Okay, let's see. We need to finish some of these guys off. Blade. Cool. hoo we're getting a little close. There we go. This expedition at least promises success. Let's see. Let's eat some of that food. Guess we can snag the antivenom. Close that. Switch. And this is probably a good time for us to camp. Yeah, because we're beat up. And we can apply some buffs. How much of the dungeons left? Yeah, this makes like this looks like a good time to try that out. Huddled together, furtive and vulnerable. All right, Rats now in a maze. let's see. What do we want to do? 
all companions plus 10 dodge. Seems pretty good. So does this plus 12 dodge self only. Tempted to grab both of those, but we'll see in a second. We need some stress relief too. Chant. to spend it on this, but I think we kind of have to. So we'll do Encourage, and then we will do plus 10 dodge for everyone. Yeah, that's just an awesome buff. And then plus 10 actually, plus 20% damage. Yeah, and then we'll take Sharpened Spear on the Hellion. Mm, yeah, I think that'll work. It's that or the dodge. If we do the dodge, we could pick up Restring Crossbow on the Arbalist, which is pretty sweet. Actually, let's do that. I like that game plan. Spirits are lifted. All right, I'll come back to you made clear. as soon as we get into another combat situation. See you in a sec. Okay, here we are in our next fight. We got surprised, but I think that's okay. Let's see, we're gonna do Guard Ally. That is so cool. That is such a cool ability, seriously. I'm really liking that guard deal. Um. Polo. They resisted the move, huh? Okay. <laughs> nice, nice job on the Arbalist's front there. And slide forward. And I think we're gonna guard again. Didn't mean to guard myself, but okay. So I'm guarded by myself. <laughs> okay. Fine. Uh, let's grab a heal. That was a misclick. Okay, let's finish this guy off so we don't pick up extra stress. There we have it. Nice. Oh, hello. Look at them in their cute little hats. Let's see. You know what? Let's... Hmm. Dodged it. Okay, fair enough. I'm gonna set... I'm gonna set Retribution. <laughs> with impunity. Nice. Be gone, fiend. That's right, smack you back. All right, I'll be back with you in just a second. All right, we're about to jump into another fight here. Hello, fellas. Pretty cool too that Crush can hit all the way to the third rank. I like that quite a bit. Let's see, let's set, um, hmm. Let's set Retribution. Yeah. How quickly the tide turns. All right, come on. What are we doing? We're killing them. What do you think we're doing? Don't be silly. Grab a heal for the man-at-arms. Uh, 
smacky smacky. Nice. Strike. We carried home. Trapped. Whatever. Here I was thinking that uh, two shovels would be plenty. <laughs> well, you know what? Having said that, I don't feel any need to run up with the stress on these. I don't need to complete this mission. So I think what I'll do is I'll end it here with just a couple of thoughts about the man at arms. Clearly, the man at arms um, as sort of a front line uh, commander slash tank, um, you can set them up for utility uh, or you can set them up. Uh, essentially as a kind of a defensive bastion, right? And uh, I think that's the way I'm going to play mine. Um, it, it, you know, you could stack trinkets that would, you know, kind of go along with the dodge piece and just make them a dodge tank. Uh, or, you know, on the flip side, with some of these active abilities, you could also stack protection just as well and not use your points when you're camping. I mean, as strong as some of these things are, like for instance, plus 12 dodge. Yeah, but you've got these really good offensive abilities over here. I think I'm, I, I'm leaning more towards, for me anyway, of using some of these offensive um, buffs from camping uh, and then stacking, probably stacking a combination of a protection trinket in one slot and then maybe an accuracy trinket in the other. Yeah, like maybe like a tough ring and then like a focus ring, something like that. Or maybe uh, heavy boots and a focus ring. That, that could work. Uh, anyway, I hope that you have enjoyed this overview of the Man at Arms class. Now, again, this just became available today on May 28th of 2015. I will be doing more in-depth guides, um, so you can always check back with me for that. There'll be a link here right here on the side if you want to go check out the Arbalist overview video where I get more specific about their abilities. And then underneath that, a button there if you'd like to subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much for watching and until next time, I'm Mal and I will see you later.